Carolina Shaber 1000 here. Today we're going to drain this tank, empty the fuel out. There's a little bit of water. I thought I seen a little bit of dirt, but um, I did definitely see some water. This gas has been in, in here for that we're thinking at least two years. So let's get it out of here. I've got it on the battery on the charger. So let's put some fresh gas in it and see how it runs then. Okay guys, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by, let's see, now this is off. <coughs> I'm going to start by unhooking this fuel line, but i got to take this breather off first. So let's take the air cleaner out and, huh, that's weird, must go on there, huh. Okay, so anyway, air cleaner looks in excellent shape. Now these other ones feel loose. Alright, let me get a little socket and my zip zip tool. And let's take this off. Okay, so it looks like we've only got five more to take out. Well, they're... Uh-oh. There we go. About time to get a new thing here. Yeah, they're all pretty loose. I'm betting that's from the factory because I'm pretty sure he's never had to take this apart for anything. And he bought it new. Yeah, I'm guessing that's factory deal there. Now, I see. There we go. Now, we're going to have to take a little hose out. These two nuts off here look like they're 10 millimeter. To get, <coughs> excuse me, to get this off so we can get to that line behind there. Okay, I got my 10 on here. Right down here at the bottom, there's one on the back side. There we go. Like I said, I've already got the charger on it. I got it on two amps. All right. Now here is the fuel line and that clamp just totally just disintegrated I have another one so alright let me get get this out of the way let me get a can I got a can right here but it's got one of these stupid doohickeys on it. So, let me find another can. Alright, this should work. Hopefully. Let's turn this gas on first, see what comes out. Now I'm going to have to pop the cap off so it can get some air in there. barely running uh, there's usually a screen in these things too but I don't think that's the issue let me get 
let me get something clean and we'll dump we'll drain some of this into something clean clear like a water bottle or something and uh, we'll see we'll see uh, what's coming out of it okay guys so I had to move you in because it started raining on me so I moved you in here a little bit into the garage I got something sitting here behind me so I can't take you all the way in besides I don't want to be draining gas in the garage I also raised the front or back whatever you want to call it I raised it up so let's put some of this fuel in here and see what we got it's not running out very good either so all right now see how cloudy that looks it's definitely water in there so let me let this set for a minute we'll see what's going on there um, I can already see down here at the bottom water I don't know if the camera will pick it up let's bring you up here some and I shook it up but down here in the bottom yeah right there in that corner right there there's some water Okay, so and I know there's more than that in there. Yeah, it's it's full of water. I can see it bubbling and stuff. Right there. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and drain this out, and hopefully it doesn't take too long. And I'll be back with you. Hopefully this rain calms down. We're supposed to be getting a bad storm, so hang tight, guys, and I'll be back with you. Okay, guys, what we're gonna do next? everything's drained out right here there's a little 10 millimeter bolt there's one on the bottom that you take out to take the bowl off this one is kind of at an angle that's to drain the fuel out of it so what we're going to do is we're going to drain some fuel out of this bowl see how much water was in the bowl Now I'm going to let this set for a minute and see how much water's in it and I'll get back with you. Okay, I let it set about five minutes. I'm not seeing much water, but look how cloudy that gas is. See that? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to dump this out and I'm going to pour some fresh gas in here and I'll show you the difference. Okay, now here's some fresh fuel. See, it's got a yellowish green tint to it. I should have just... Uh, cut off another one of these and showed you side by side but you get the picture so I'm gonna get this put back together and we're gonna put some fresh fuel in it and fire it up Put some fresh gas in it. Didn't spill a drop. This cap always gives me problems. It's 
got a lot to do with that chain. I do believe that that screen don't like to go down past. There we go. Now it says it'll hold 6.2 gallons, but I just put five in and this gauge is reading almost full I'll show you it's reading almost full it might might fit another gallon in there See if she'll start. Okay, I've already turned the gas on. One hook that. Give it some choke. Right, guys so there you go sorry about the wind let's bring you in here just running some maintenance on it I may change the oil later on I looked at it, it looks really good but I may change the oil later on but I don't think it needs it right now there we go sorry about the lighting too I even have my lights out here and this big light on on here just that time of day you know what I mean so but anyway, I've got a got to get ready and put some ribs on and get them cooking, and I think that's going to be all right now. So good battery, fired right up, um, good gas in it. Kind of was surging a little bit, but they normally do. Sometimes these cheaper ones they'll they'll surge a little bit when you fire them up when they're cold started smoothing out could have had still just a little tiny bit of water i think it'll be fine now so good to go for another year so anyway guys thanks for watching appreciate it shea bear the myth the man of legend i'm gone for now don't forget to check out monkey 1000 channel appreciate it and uh y'all have a great weekend we'll see you soon bye bye